time to rise up and prophesy over the bones. If you have prophetic words over your family, begin to prophesy those prophetic words. We are to arise and shine. And let that glory of God that is in us shine through and touch the lives of others around us. Bienvenidos a Kingdom Truth, mi nombre es Claudia Iriarte y estoy feliz de compartir contigo esta sección llamada Revelación y Profecía y por ser el Día de las Madres, hoy vamos a recibir un mensaje especial de una mujer que yo admiro y quiero muchísimo ya que es mi mamá espiritual, la apóstol Kathy Burden y recibimos su mensaje. Hi, I'm Apostle Kathy and I want to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day and share with you one of my favorite women in the Bible. In Judges 4.4, it says, And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judges Israel at that time. She judged Israel when the children of Israel were sold into the hand of Jabin, king of Canaan, and they were being mightily oppressed. She sends and calls for Barak to come and go down and to fight and deliver the Israelites from Jabin. Barak, though, did not want to go unless Deborah was willing to go with him. So let's look at some of the characteristics that made her such a great leader. One, she was a prophetess and one that was instructed in divine knowledge by the immediate inspiration of the Spirit of God. She had a gift of wisdom and she judged the people as God's mouthpiece to them, correcting abuses and addressing their grievances. The third characteristic about Deborah is she went with Barak because she had a stronger faith in his faith. Number four, Deborah was a prayer warrior and she was there to give Barak direction, encouragement and to pray for him. Number five, Deborah was a worshiper. After the victory, Deborah begins to magnify God and to praise Him. Deborah was a reformer who stood in her day to righteously rule. Uh, and after the battle with Israel, Israel had rest for the next 40 years. I want to pray for you right now. Father, I pray for all of the women leaders in the nation of Mexico. I pray that you will give them divine revelation and knowledge to know how to be wives mothers and leaders in their great nation. I pray for a spirit of intercession to come upon them to intercede for the affairs of Mexico. I release a spirit of worship and intercession upon these mothers. I release a new mercy and a grace upon Mexico for the upcoming elections. I pray that your people will be elected to office, those that will honor God and uphold righteous legislation. I pray that women will rise up and become reformers in the nation of Mexico and reform the seven mountains of culture in government, education, media arts, entertainment, religion, and family. I pray for their children to be raised up in the ways of Jehovah God. I bless these with victory today and prosperity, faith and grace. I pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Happy Mother's Day to you. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Recibimos esa palabra y la atesoramos en nuestro corazón. Feliz Día de las Madres y nos vemos la próxima vez. Hasta pronto.